I watch a lot of content online and I see basic problems with stances, which is fine because you can always correct your stance. I said this in a video I recorded recently about, I went to college and the first thing our collegiate wrestling coaches did was tell us to get in our stances. And we all got in our like funky stances, like you know, that worked in high school and we were all like cool. <laughs> and my coach said, you guys all suck. And we were like, what? And he was like, get in the stance. And then we, we didn't realize we had all these problems. Our, our back foot was like this. This is a really, this is actually really common. This, this is probably one of the hardest habits to break. And it's because um, this is just easier and more natural. But a sprinter starts like this, right? So you want your toes all facing forward because this is where your power will come from. So what I learned uh, from my collegiate wrestling coaches was you don't want to be so low that it's easy to just pull my weight down, okay? And I don't want to be so tall that I just give it all up, which is something that happens in jujitsu. I understand because the throat's there, so you want to be able to protect it. So the, <clears throat> actually the best wrestling stance from the one that I learned in college is somewhere in between there. If you watch any sport, football, baseball, whatever, you see this, this power position here, right? To catch the ball, to come off the line, whatever. So, <clears throat> If you're comfortable here, you, most people should be comfortable standing about right here, okay? That's when then you put your hands out in front, okay? Because your hands are your first line of defense, then your head. So in this case, if a guy's shooting on me, my hands are low, okay? But my elbows are out in front, okay? So um, there's all the Iowa guys, if you watch, are, and they're, they're classically trained wrestlers, are very good at, they, they continue to pull their elbows in, and they keep their arms out in front, okay, like this. This is the best wrestling stance literally that you can have. It allows for the most mobility, for me to move around, you can switch your feet up if you want, but you always have to protect this lead leg, okay? None of this reaching like this. This is just giving him everything, okay? And there's very few people who could wrestle like John Smith, who wrestled really, really low, okay? And John Smith was able to, but he still, if you watch John, you know, he still played within this range really well, and his hands were out the front, okay? Nobody's ever been like him, ever again. So, for most of us mortals, this is how you have to stand, okay? Rest here, okay? So that this puts your back in a good position, or a strong position, and the hands come out in front, okay? I see plenty of people who are teaching wrestling, who aren't wrestlers trained, they're jujitsu guys, who's, who are shooting, their back is straight, but their hands are like this, and then they're shooting, and their hands are like this, like, Anybody that knows anything can stuff you if their hands are out, and in fact, that's what you see. If they're up against anybody who's any good, they just can't get past their hands and they can't figure it out. Because your hands have to be out here if I want to be able to get his hands, if I'm dragging, if I'm posting, any of those things. But you notice how I never come up and out of the block. Okay, I'm not coming up and out. When I post, for example, I'm staying here, and when I get on that leg, I'm never coming out of my stance when I run. The double, if I'm here on, in the bottom position and I come up to my feet, when I get the hands off and I turn, I'm never coming out of my position. So you need to really work on this position, being strong here and not coming out of it. So if Dom, one drill that you can do is you can just grab my head, and this is really hard. If you can do this for a few minutes and just try to yank me out of my stance and just really stay here like this, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, there's going to be times when you come out of your stance a little bit, but the purpose is he's really, really, really strong, <laughs> really strong. So when he's pulling me around, what I'm trying to prevent myself from doing is breaking protocol, like, and trying to come up and out because, oh, my back is tired, or oh, my legs are tired. Like, you should be able to stay in a stance and move around by yourself, you know, and move for six, seven minutes, seven if it's college, most of you guys probably are watching this if you're a collegiate wrestler. Six minutes if you're in high school, and stay here, okay? You should be able to stay here. Your weight should be more on your balls and your feet, but not so much that you fall over. But if, you're, if your butt's under you, okay, then this is a strong position, okay? It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't need something cool, you know? When anybody takes their high school wrestling photos, <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, weird stances, like, this should be your high school wrestling photo, right here, 
Oh man, it looks so 1960s. Well, they figured stuff out. This is the best stance. You can't get past my hands. You have to do a lot of work. And then if you do get my hands out of the way, my head's the next line of defense. Once you get here, I'm in trouble, okay? And, and again, you don't need to come out of your stance. If somebody gets up, up on my hips, I want to be able to control it from a power position here. Okay, so work on that. Work on staying tough, staying here. This is fundamental. If you're winning a match and somebody's coming at you like a honey badger, you have to be able to maintain good proper stance. If you're in good stance and they're coming out of their stance trying so hard, you might get some easy shots, you might get some easy posts, okay? Because you're being fundamentally sound. If you can't stay in your stance when you're tired, you need to work on that. Like, that is fundamental. Stance is number one. Even when I went to D1, the first thing I did was have us get into our stance. If you can't do this, you can't wrestle. Not at a high level, okay? So, because what you don't want to do is having people on you, and it's so much more work for me to get them off my legs, okay? So, we're here, we're gonna stay here, okay? So, get used to walking around. I used to walk around my house like this <laughs> in high school. <laughs> so, uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you have any specific comments about it, like and subscribe, and uh, we can continue to post comments or content on this. Thanks.